Today we are installing a Linux screen for BMW F30. Here are the pictures before and after the installation. Pry out the air conditioning trim panel with the rocker. Take out the connecting plug on the back of the air conditioning trim panel and then place the air conditioning trim panel to one side. Remove the decorative panel below the main unit panel. Remove the six fixing screws on the original display and main unit panel. Remove the main unit panel and take out the connection plug on the back of the main unit panel. Remove the fixing screws of the original host. Pull the original host outward. Take out the original host. Then hold the ESO plug buckle of the main engine and pull it backward to take out the ESO plug of the host. Press the LVDS plug button on the back of the original display screen. Then take out the LVDS cable plug and then place the original display screen. Press the small buckle on the original ESO or head with tweezers and take out the 2P green optical fiber cable. Connect the ESO plug from the stock main unit to the male connector of the Linux ESO harness. Connect the 2P green fiber optic cable to the ESO female connector. Please be careful not to plug it in backwards and the Linux ESO cable female connector to the back of the original car main frame. Insert the plug and then press the clip to make it installed firmly. Place the Linux ESO harness inside the dash and thread the plug end onto the base of the display. Thread the USB harness plug onto the base of the display and position the female end of the USB connection cable under the passenger side. Install the original host back to its original position. Confirm that it is installed in place. And then lock and fix the original host. Restore the connection plug on the back of the host panel. And then install it back in place. Connect the plug of the Linux ESO harness and USB harness to the back of the Linux device. And connect the stock LVDS male connector to the back connector of the Linux device. Restore the connection plug on the back of the air conditioning trim panel and then install it back to its original position.
Once the installation is complete, let's see how to get Linux sound. Click on Settings and select System to turn on the SC Cars BT Channel option. Scroll down to Cut Settings and turn off the Auto Switch Tool option. Then go to OEM Car Info and connect the original Bluetooth. After a successful connection, change the multimedia mode to the Bluetooth we just connected to. At this point, go back to our Linux interface and connect the Linux Bluetooth. It will automatically enter the CarPlay interface after successful connection. At this point, Linux Bluetooth will automatically disconnect and OEM Bluetooth will stay connected. You can see that the CarPlay sound is also normal. Select Communication Manage Mobile Devices Connect New Device Bluetooth Audio and wait for the connection. After successful connection, we choose to go to Media, Radio and select the T-Transmitter to go back to the Linux interface and we can see that the sound is normal.